welcome back to Mindful Martha. I hope that you are off to an awesome week. Let me begin by saying thank you for being part of my channel. I hope that every week I'll continue to bring something new and inviting to your life to help you improve and live a more happy and positive life. So I hope you got to watch my introductory video, which I left off by letting you know that we're gonna focus today on toxicity. And I asked you to please think about a person or persons in your life that you feel are toxic. And if you didn't, that's okay. Maybe you'll think about that person or persons during this video, or you can always refer back to it. Okay, so let's get started. So toxicity, when we think of that word toxic, right? T-O-X-I-C. We think about different things, right? We can think about our environment. I know I mentioned in the last video that many of us right away think about, um, you know, global warming or people recycling and reusing, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. But we are surrounded by toxic individuals in our life as well. So it affects us on a physical level, emotional level, and a mental level. So what do we do about these kind of people? Because let's face it, some of those people are in our lives and we may have to live with them or work with them or even see them in an occasion, but we need to see them, right? So it's not like we can erase them from our lives. So that's what we need to find is ways to cope around those certain individuals. And that's what we're gonna focus on today. So I want you to think about that specific individual and think about how they make you feel. And remember that you have a choice, okay? After a while, we become immune to our environment and it becomes the norm for us. But you know what? It really is not the norm. We all have choices. We have choices to change within ourselves and change how we feel. Perhaps we can't always change other people, but we can change how we approach things. So when you think about that toxic person, think about how you want to be happy. You don't want to feel this feeling of anger or sadness or bitterness, right? Because those are things that are going to resonate within you and live within you. And how is that going to benefit you? This is about benefiting you and making you feel better and making you feel stronger and you controlling the situation. So I want you to think about what are the positive things in your life? What are the things that make you feel good about you? What are the blessings that you have in your life? Perhaps it can be something as small as the blessing of someone bringing you a cup of coffee when you least expected it. Or someone leaving you a sweet note, just reminding you that you're amazing. Or someone holding the door for you when you're walking out of a store. These are little things that we need to be grateful for that are positive and good things in our lives. So toxic people many times want to bring us down. They want us to be bitter. They want us to feel like them because they're carrying their own luggage and they want to weigh you down with their luggage. And so you have to find a way to turn that around and say, no way. So you can say, I'm going to be kinder to that person. Now for some people, that's a huge challenge. But believe it or not, many times when you are kinder to toxic people, little by little they turn around or they just leave you alone completely. Another thing you can do is say positive affirmations about yourself. Remind yourself, I'm better than this. I'm amazing. 
I believe in myself. And at the end of this video, I'm actually going to share a powerful one that you can say on a daily basis or whenever you feel that that toxic person is bringing you down. I want you to also think about how you can destruct that person from you. I'm not sure if that word exists, but think about how envisioning your life being better. If you weren't weighing down all that negativity that you hold within yourself because that person makes you so upset. Remember, when we think of something toxic, it's poison, right? So think about that. Would you drink a bottle of poison? Absolutely not. However, when you allow those toxic people to come and make you feel that way, then it's like drinking a bottle of poison because you're allowing them to eat you up from within. And no one, no one in this world should ever make you feel that way. You are worth much more than that. So it's time for you to get your ammunition and be ready to fight those individuals with your positive affirmations, your positive thinking, being strong, taking control of yourself and remembering that it is a choice of how you're gonna make others make you feel. I also want you to think about the law of attraction. I know this is hard to believe, but a lot of people in our lives, they're with us because we sort of invited them in. And you can also ask them to leave in your own way. So if you start visualizing and envisioning a life without that person and you being happy and bringing in people who appreciate you, love you, and accept you for who you are, you're gonna allow yourself to shut that door of those toxic people and open a new door to bringing in wonderful people in your life. But you have to give yourself permission to do that. You have to believe that it's going to happen. Maybe it won't happen tomorrow and in a few days or maybe in a couple of weeks. But I need you to be animate about it. Stay with it. Be positive and it will happen. And start thinking about what kind of people you want in your life. Who deserves to be part of your life? Going back to self-worth. You have to remember you are a valuable soul. You are important. You belong in this world. And you are special. So I wanna bring you to something that I created that I hope that it will help you. And you can refer to it whenever you want. But before I do that, just remember, toxic people love to feed off others when they upset them. Do not allow them to take that energy or power away from you. You have control of your life. You are the one who can make those choices to make your life the best life ever. Remain calm, remain positive, be mindful, and don't forget to tell yourself, I love myself, I'm special, I believe in myself. So I created an acronym, TOXIC, T-O-X-I-C, right? We're gonna turn that around because I need you to start thinking of ways to turn the negative into positive. Looking at that glass half full. T, today I will take O out all of the extra negativity. I have grow, growing in me. C, creating new positive energy that I deserve. Now say it all together. Today I will take out all of the ne extra negativity I have growing in me, creating new positive energy 
that I deserve. Thank you so much for joining in today. I appreciate you. I appreciate your time. And I look forward to next Wednesday for a new video for you. So next week, we are going to focus a little bit more on the law of attraction and finding new ways of helping your life grow into possibilities that you never even maybe have thought existed. Remember, spread the seeds of kindness. Try to be as positive as you can. And remember how special you are. Mwah! Heart kisses to all of you. Have a terrific week. Bye. Adios.